Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a, a dumbbell workout. It's not my traditional video with the heavy uh, bench press, but it's something that will assist that bodybuilding workout. It will work upper, middle, and lower chest. Let's see how we go. So, as you can see here, the first move that I do is the uh, incline dumbbells. I do a high number of reps, you know, until you feel a good pump. Um, remember to keep good form and I put it on a pretty steep incline but you could do anything that, that you want for the incline just as long as you're feeling it in the upper chest so as you guys could see I'm training in a pyramid style of training where uh, I do light for high reps, medium for middle ground reps, and then uh, heaviest, which is, you're gonna see in a second, for uh, the lowest number of reps. But the heaviest dumbbells I have is 52.5. I'm not at my uh, public gym right now, but you know, over time you could you want to really be pushing that number and trying to you know for that last set advancing to heavier and heavier weight. As you can see, I keep my form in control. You really don't want to go so fast. It's more of you want to concentrate on that uh, negative going down and a pop from the bottom is okay. And you can see sometimes I do uh, the little pause it, pauses in the middle and then I go down. That's just uh, holding tension on the muscle. And in the order I went, I went incline, fl flat, and then decline. You can do any order you want. Incline's always gonna be hardest, and then depending on uh, your body type, it could be decline's harder for you or uh, flat's harder for you. For me, they're the same, so I just uh, did flat next and then decline third. So after we do the pressing, now we go to the flies. Now with flies, I actually start heavier and then work my way lighter. Flies are, you got to be careful with them, how heavy you go because you can hurt your shoulder if you go too heavy. Right here I have 40 pounds, but this is my uh, lowest rep number set. And you want to really uh, be careful how heavy you go. Uh, it, it, it's taken me a long time to get uh, heavier numbers on flat flies and I also will do incline flies as you will see but this will really help um, after you do the press pressing us uh, stretch the chest muscle get blood in there really uh, pump that chest up
All right, guys, so we've now hit the upper, middle, and lower chest. The incline flat and decline dumbbells, also the incline flies, and the flat flies will also hit some of the shoulders. So now we're gonna do something uh, you don't see too much like the others, close grip dumbbells. But I really wanna emphasize on this one, the slowness and the control. This is a move that will really help your with straight bar bench press because of the power you're gonna develop in the triceps. Um, you, I've, you can see, uh, I've seen this on uh, Mike O'Hearn's channel, and uh, I've done this move for a while now, and it really works. I feel the difference after a while of using it on the bench. Here it goes. So that's set one. What you want to keep in mind is when you're performing this move, when you have the dumbbells, don't just hold them together and make sure there's no space between them. You really want to be pushing them together. So keep them pressing together and push it up at the same time. But you also notice besides the tricep power, your middle chest as you get really uh, defined and um, strong here too, so this move will benefit you in multiple ways. But um, yeah, keep in mind the push together, the slow. No All right guys, so that will conclude today's bench workout. Um, feel free to make any suggestions or ideas that I could do in the future if you want to see anything, uh, because I know I do a lot of uh, chest work and bench work. But um, yeah, thank you for watching. See you next time.